Hello. How is everybody doing? Friday, August 14th. Any bombs dropped today that changed your perspective on things? Might have been. Thought you were going one way and now you're not. Or maybe you are. Maybe you're more, maybe you're doubling down. Right? Maybe you're doubling down. Are you glad about that? Are you sure about that? You might wake up tomorrow and have a different perspective still. Happy Friday. So I'll do this reading for tonight and tomorrow night. See what we got. I'm gonna. Hey, I'm gonna work with the Shadowscapes tarot deck tonight. It's my my Malachite heart. Malachite heart. I love Malachite. And our Desert Rose. This is like my favoriteest one. This is the Never Give Up, Never Surrender stone. I love Galaxy Quest. All right, let's do the reading. So we're gonna use the Shadowscapes tarot tonight. I had some more perspectives on the cards that we read last night, but yeah, I don't know. They're not coming to me right now, so I guess they're not as relevant. But that's all right. Let's read tonight. Oh, and I know what I wanted to do. Oh, actually, I have my answer. Oh, cool. So we use the Shadowscapes Tarot. I haven't worked with this these um, since this spring. So actually, if you go back in my Instagram, you'll see um, some of the readings I did last spring, and it'd be interesting. I actually should look at those and compare them to what I'm what I'm um, working with now. Um, I was working with cards a lot in the spring and in the um, fall, and I haven't worked with them a lot in the fall. I think some of you I, to I told you that I'd um, kind of come away from reading. And then I'm back, and but it's like I didn't come away from reading. It's um, I've been I was reading them in, like in the background for the past several months, and I feel a lot of that's coming out now. Oh, we already have one coming out. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see in this card how. You know, she's dejected, she's looking, she's like, yeah, she doesn't see that there's a butterfly of, you know, that's the sacral chakra, a butterfly of creativity. You know, two cards before this are the, you know, the, is the um, three of pentacles. And in the three of pentacles, we have this mastery and we're connected up with the divine and we're creating something amazing and we have and we yeah this is like it's like a holy trinity it's it's our it's our energy it's working with the divine into you know this manifestation of you know pentacle and pentacles keep coming up you know we're still feeling this groundedness like what are we manifesting what are you manifesting like i said what are you doubling down on are you sure about that Or are you feeling the loss so much that you don't see that there's actually opportunity? Something is being created, something is being created. It's very tiny, but there's that butterfly. Orange, color of the sacral chakra, seed of creativity. And this beautiful stained glass window it's right above her head. These, you know, what you look up and about, like there's great beauty all around. Maybe things didn't work out exactly how you wanted them to, but it may be working out in a way that you didn't expect. You just don't quite see that yet. But there's friends around her. There's you know, the thorns are growing. She's sitting there so long that the thorns are growing up about her. But then she's got a little lizard friend there. The dragons came up in a conversation I had with a woman earlier. I gotta, so I'm going to read from the uh, Archangel Michael deck. I was playing with them while I was working. 
So we've got the Five of Pentacles. Part of feeling out in the cold, feeling unsure, feeling unsupported. But that's, you know, it's a part of isolation. I feel that. And if that card had come up last Saturday, I think I would have just like thrown myself back on the floor again. That's kind of what that is, right? I feel like there's another deck I want to... Anyway, well, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Maybe it'll come to me with the deck I can use. Well, let's go ahead and see what other cards have... would like to share with us. So Five of Pentacles is out. What other cards are coming up? Show us the best way to work with the energy. What I like about the Five of Pentacles card in this deck is how colorful it is. Do you, you know, do you want to keep your head down and not add color to your life? I was having that conversation with someone, my daughter, just now. Do you want to live in black and white or do you want to have some color? Have some depth. That, that, is, that theme has been coming up, though. You want a bubblegum life? Put your head in the sand. I'm not going to look at anything. I'm just going to do the same old, same old so I don't get hurt. So I don't get hurt. I risk nothing. If you look up, go for it. That's exciting. Add color. Go forward fearlessly. All right. What are the other cards that have... This is such a beautiful deck. I love the watercolors. Well, that's actually a strong card. What else do we have? Oh, speaking of strong, the Empress, central card of the reading. Told you, do you want to live your bubble gum life? Your bubble yum life? Your pop music life? Or do you want to live rich, and fruitful, and luscious like the Empress? I don't care whether you're male, you're female, or everything in between. This Empress energy is rich. She's throwing it all to the wind. She doesn't care. She does not care. The Empress, like the honey badger. <laughs> she is the honey badger. The Empress, oh, and I love the way she's depicted in this card. Look at her. She, look at this beautiful cat. She's casting butterflies oh, oh, isn't that amazing I, I that really yeah hard. she's beautiful she's like throwing butterflies out there she's like throwing creativity out to everybody see you know she's like oprah <laughs> you get a butterfly you get a butterfly <laughs> she's like the oprah of the major arcana She, and she doesn't care. She she's doing it. She's like, yeah, I've got. I'm plenty. I got. I'm super. I am so confident. It is not even funny. Empress card. So these couldn't be more different. Where do you want to be? <laughs> I want to be the empress, right? What else do we have? This is getting better. You see, and then, oh, so you, and I, what I'm noticing, you know is I'm noticing we're going from this little dash of color in the Five of Pentacles, that little bitty butterfly, to all of these butterflies. And loads of orange, loads of creativity. Again, loads of color. Loads of color. What are you attracting into your life? What are you throwing out there and gonna bring back? All the colors of the wind? Oh my God. And I just went to Pocahontas. <laughs> Oh, we just went to Pocahontas. You think of all the colors of the wind. Yeah. I want to paint with all the colors of the wind. That's exciting. So, what else do we have? I don't know, I'm pretty stoked about that Empress. Let's give us one more card. One more card. One more card to tap us off. Ah, what do we have? Oh, but then we have the Hermit. So we have two major arcana that have come up in this reading. 
there's the harmony. So we're casting out our colors, our wishes. We're, we're casting, we're just throwing things out there and seeing what sticks. And we're holding the light for that to come back to us. So, you know, like moths to a flame. That's like, I can't help but think of that. So we cast the light out and like moths to a flame. Then I tracked in exactly what we want. Gee, is this what you're putting out there though? careful what you're putting out there. You know? Your thoughts, your intentions, your wishes, everything coming full circle. Just notice that. And the geese this flying, the geese fly together, the tribe. So yeah, the tribe. And everyone takes their turn to be at the head of the V when the geese, you know, and when, when one has to drop back, they all, you know, they kind of like rotate. And when one needs to take a rest, like one will drop down and then they'll come back up together. drawn back to the light. So we have to hold the light. So yeah, you know, the homecoming card that came up the other day, there might be some of us who are still not home yet. And we have to hold the light. We have to cast out, you know, like the colors. Here's our colors. So we're flying our colors. This is our, these are the colors of our tribe. We we're going to wear our colors proudly. We're going to put our flag out. But some of us haven't come home yet. So we have to hold that light for those around us who need to come home still. We have to hold steady, solid. Sign of Virgo. So Virgo's really solid. So where's my little, ah, my doodad? I bought this, like I said, I bought this for school. So well, let's, let's go into the cards a little bit more, a little more in depth. Talk about some of the, um, the numerology on it. So yeah, the Five of Pentacles is a card of, angle the camera down a little bit so you can see that more clearly. Five of Pentacles is a card of you know, being in the dark, being being in isolation, not seeing the colors all around you, refusing to see that, you know, like in that, in that reading the other day, things have changed. Are you going to stay stuck in the old? And like I was talking earlier to my daughter, like scales are still on your eyes and you can't see that some really beautiful things have happened. So we talked about in that, um, I'm actually gonna sit down. We actually, we, um, we're, we talked about that in the um, reading the other day about homecoming and then I spoke to it yesterday about how, you know, we've all come, we've all had some really, you know, interesting experiences over the past several months. But how, you know, it's, and it may be into, hard, difficult to integrate the experiences of others and what they've, what they're bringing to the table. And mesh them with our experiences. But we'll get there, you know. But not if we're looking down and we're kind of like refusing to, you know, see the opportunities. We're just thinking that things are the same. Like I said, are you doubling down on the 
and refusing to see the beauty that's that, that that's in, right in front of your face. Creative options. And can you see this beautiful butterfly coming in? That that things have transformed. It may be the small still voice. You know that it's always the small still voice that we don't hear, of course, because it's small and it's still. But what about? If we did actually listen to that rather than the noise and the things that maybe, like I said, don't hold water anymore, the notions. Because if we do, you know, we have this opportunity to be here. To do anything we want to put anything we out there, you know, to share and give. Solid. Empress is another grounded sign, like the Empress is the Emperor. It's the feminine version of the Emperor. Even more fertile though, right? Because she's, this is a woman, so she's receiving. So in addition to actually giving out, this woman is receiving. And I love, actually, I'm just noticing the circles that are in both of these cards. Like this is more like a moon energy almost, as opposed to the sun. She's casting into the sun, hoping that the subconscious will penetrate, will be penetrated by these, these creative, beautiful colors into the souls. You know, so there's many of us on the planet who are working in the high vibe, right? We're working in the high vibe and we're, sent, we're holding that light. We're working in the sun right now. We have this sun energy. It's so obvious. It's summertime, right? But we are moving to a time of Virgo. So this is like almost like Leo season as we're moving closer and closer into Virgo season, which we're going to be entering at the end of next week. So Hermit is a sign of Virgo, is the card of Virgo. And that time of gathering in before we move into the darker months. And, you know, we've talked about, you'll hear it in the astrology reports, and I've said it here. You know, we've, we've got to, you know, emulate this creativity, like bank into our creativity, because there's a couple of things that are going to go on. We're going into a part of the year where things are going to be darker. And I know nobody wants to hear that, because we've already been through a very difficult time. But we are. And Mars is about to go retrograde on September 9th, smack in the middle of Virgo season. And um, he will be retrograde through November. And then he'll still be in shadow. He'll come out of shadow in January. So there will be a lot of introspection at that point. Like our, you know, he's already, Mars has already slowed down quite a bit. We're getting, you know, close to that September 9th date. He's in shadow now. So, you know, this drive, this this abundance, this kind of you know we're 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 just we're get, we're right in the tail end of that. So take advantage of it. Now is the time to draw in the things that you want near to you, the things that you want to work on. Uranus went retrograde yesterday, and that and now we go into a time of you know being in that self worth. She like I said, she's completely abundant. She's creative. She's super you know fertile, and usually she's depicted as a pregnant woman. And we are in that time where it is crucial between now and when Uranus comes out of retrograde next January, middle of January, to continue to draw upon the self-worth lessons that Uranus has been teaching us as it is he is transversing, transiting through the sign of Taurus, which is the sign of what is your self-worth. She's not confused about that. And he's not either. He's just doing it in a quieter way. He's conserving. And he's holding the light for people to come home. They're both holding open portals, right? She's casting one open to the sky. He's standing on a portal welcoming that energy in. Please come home. 
come home to yourself. Card of meditation. Come home to meditating now on your own self-worth and holding, standing on that self-worth, standing up for yourself. He's standing on that, right? Standing up for yourself. Showing up for yourself. Holding the light for yourself. And when you're being, you're bright in your own light and you're standing and you're, he, even though he's an older guy, he's like standing up straight. He's not crooked. And he's grounded, even though he's standing on a very precarious position. And he's holding the light. He's going to hold on. And so will you. We have the strength for this. Two major arcana. So the numerology on these cards, so we've got the five of pentacles, the empress is three, so that's eight, plus another uh, hermit is nine. So what, uh, five and three is eight, plus nine is what? Oh, 17. So 17, one and seven. So the one is our love, and seven is mind and creativity. So one is the love, and seven is mind, mind and creativity. So, and the connection to the divine through our creativity, like creating through our divine wisdom. So again, working that high vibe. Like who's the high vibe? Like who are you holding? You know, we are holding the light for ourselves, through ourselves, through our own modeling for the consciousness, for the larger consciousness. So the more we work on ourselves and we keep cultivating that light from within, the more we are moths to that flame more we will draw moths to our flame. Just don't, you know, look at the moths that you're drawing now. Some moths maybe need to stay over outside the flame a little bit too much. <laughs> you decide. You'll know. You'll know. Because you'll be discerning. That's another, you will be able to discern who gets to come in the circle. Talked about that earlier in the week. So loving, loving what you're creating, loving your connection to the divine, loving yourself, by being in your divine wisdom. There you go. There's your numerology on the deck. So let's, speaking of loving ourselves, love Archangel Michael. Hmm. Loving, making your life rich, creating from that divine, that tapping into that divine wisdom, creating. Right? I, the Three of Pentacles keeps coming up. It didn't come out in the reading. Maybe it's in the bottom of the deck. No, but seven of pentacles is. Hello. Seeds, well planted. Going into the new moon, P.S. Eh, five of swords. Yes, but you know what? You might have to, like, deal with some conflict. Mental conflict, maybe from yourself. Probably from out, uh, external. So don't plant the... No. A little bit of conflict there. There's my baby girl. I've been thinking about her all day. It's my card. Love her. And she's making she's making circles. She is whirling a freaking vortex. I'm not going to go into her today. We'll go into Archangel Micaiah. So yeah, one in seven. Loving what you're creating through being in connection with divine wisdom. Your divine self. So Archangel Michael, what do you have for us on this reading today? What's the message from you, Archangel Michael, as we work through this reading? Whoa. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if they come back up. Forgive yourself when you've done nothing wrong. He likes to remind me of that. Forgiveness is a really important thing. Forgiveness. Mm, you know what? Maybe that card is right. Okay. All right. It is. We'll come back to those. He gave it. He, he Those came out. We're going to. Yeah, we should just take them. I don't know why I didn't. But that's an example, you know, of doubting yourself when you do the, um, when you do the reading. Of, mm, I don't think that's ever ends. You know, you can't pick the wrong cards. Yeah, forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And take it. 
take your time making this decision. So, yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I was like, here's my ego. Sometimes I do that. We all do it, right? So two of them, take your time making this decision. So you have the card of Virgo. So, we, you know, take your time. Meditate. Meditate on who it is that you're letting in through your portal, who's not. Be discerning. Be discerning with, um, again, be impeccable with your word. Be impeccable with your word, your intentions. Clean up your intentions, your thoughts by being in meditation, by taking time for yourself. Because then you're very clear on what it is that you are putting out there. And you're solid in yourself. So what you're putting out there is just authentic and genuine. And it's not confusing. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So let's definitely, you know, pause. We're going into the balsamic phase of the brand new, the new moon in Leo. So it is time to meditate. You definitely want to take these days to do that. Just step back. Disengage doesn't mean disinterested. Doesn't mean, it just means that you are, you know, pulling yourself, pulling your resources together. Sign of Virgo. So you can do more. But you have to take those breaks. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Right? Taking this time before the new moon, I think a lot of us are dealing with, you know, these lot, a lot of things have come up from the past and a lot of past um, energy has come up for us to reflect upon. We're probably dealing with, uh, you, know, how, you know, really looking, analyzing, again, that's another attribute of Virgo, our role in the situation. And really beating ourselves up again and in it which makes us then double down and be in situations that really are just bubblegum and they're not rich and we don't think we deserve to be have anything better than this kind of like surface little life where we don't actually have to be in our feelings we don't really have to touch it we don't really have to deal with it we don't think we deserve having more because when we have to deal with things, that means we have to show up for ourselves and whatever's going on. That's a real life. Something you can sink your teeth into. Something that's luscious. Luscious and abundant. Or you can be here. Be there. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Again, working with meditation to integrate all parts of ourselves that we're trying to call home. So we can move forward in an integrated and authentic way into these months that are coming up ahead healing all parts of ourselves. Virgo is a sign of healing as well. Shining the light for all on all parts of ourselves and calling all parts of ourselves home. So then when others come toward us with their experiences, we're also calling them home. I'm gonna leave that at, I'm gonna leave it at that. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Night. Enjoy your Saturday morning.